Hey guys out there, hope you're all doing well. Um, right, here is my review for Kick-Ass 2. I actually got the chance just to see this yesterday. And it was pretty good, I actually enjoyed it. It was, um, in my opinion, I preferred it to the first one. Because the first one was really just building things up and, you know, just really kind of like, you know, set the, set the tone and set the story about what these people are trying to do. Um, the casting's brilliant yet again in this. Jim Carrey really steals the show in his part in the movie and he was probably one of the funniest things about this. As well as, of course, it had great action in it. And the effects were really well done as well. And, um, I mean, the performances were just really good as well. Chloe Louise Moretz, I think that's her name. Or Chloe Moretz is becoming a really good young actress in Hollywood. I think she's going to... Well, already she's been casting some brilliant things. But I think as she gets older, she's going to go on to do, like, bigger things in Hollywood. Which will be cool to see. And um, it was very well paced as well, I thought. And, you know, there was no scenes that just dragged it down to a screeching halt. I cannot understand why Rotten Tomatoes has given this such a low rating. It does not make sense at all. But, you know, sometimes the critics get it wrong, really. But, hey-ho, there you go, really. So, um, I'm going to keep this review pretty short because I'm still on holiday out here. So, I don't want to ramble on too much. So, uh, I'm going to give this review... I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. And that's going to do it for now. Be sure to comment below and tell me what your favourite kick-ass movie is. Whether it's the first one or this one. And I shall see you guys on the next one and take care.